Hello everyone, this is Shivam Gulari and I'm back with some database projects. So I worked upon two projects, the first one being the hospital management system which I will be covering in this video and the second one being the library management system which I will be covering in the next video and will be including the video link in this description. So without wasting any time, let's dive into this project. So basically I went through couple of online links and this one was the schema that was suitable for my project so just let me start with the patient one so uh, I have created uh, four tables in this project first one being the patient with these attributes this one being the patient ID, patient name, patient gender, patient address, patient number and patient doctor code Second one being doctor table, which contains information about the doctor and having the attributes doc code, doc name, doc gender, doc address, doc designation, and doc number. Third one being the patient diagnosis, uh, which has attributes diagnose ID, diagnose details, diagnose remarks, diagnose date, and patient ID. And the third one, which includes most of the automation, the bill table. So that contains the bill number, which is automatically generated through a sequence. Second one being the patient ID, which is automatically, no, uh, I would not say automatically because we are entering the value. So it has a foreign key relationship with the patient ID in patient table. Then the patient name, which is automatically fetched through a trigger from the patient table. Then the patient gender, which is again automatically fetched from the patient table, the attribute patient and underscore gender. And then similarly, patient underscore address, which will be automatically be fetched from patient address in table patient. And then we have the doctor name, which will be automatically fetched from the doctor table. And this will be the amount that we will be entering manually while insertion. So let's see the data types of each table starting with the first one patient so these are the data types which I have included and this is a sample data that uh, we will be inserting in the table and I have already provided these links for all these files so yeah I mean I will be providing a consolidated list of files uh, and uploading all these files to get up repository for your convenience. So, I mean, these are the records that we will be having in the patient table. Then we have patient diagnosis. So, the diagnosis details based on the patient. And these are the database level data types for the columns. And um, yeah, I, I do want to mention one more thing over here. So as you can see, I've automated the insert query for all these tables. So in case you want to uh, enter a record, you can simply just write in the details over here. For example, I want to insert the record for patient number 06. Here I enter my name, Shivan Murari, mail, address Patient number, let's just put address and patient doctor. Let's just put it. So, by entering these details, you simply get the insert query with your copy list and by pasting it in Notepad. So, you automatically get the insert query for insertion. As you can see over here, the values are automatically fetched. So, I'll some Excel formulas for your convenience for all the sheets over here. So, I mean, it's, it's a similar way for the doctor table and same way for the bill table. And just to bring it to your notice, so this green thing, once marked in green, requires no value. So, the values for these will be automatically fetched from the value that we provide for the yellow. So based on the patient ID, these values will be fetched. And I would say all these values. 
and will number I'm using a sequence so yeah you don't really need to insert that value so let's use the SQL files that I have created and um, let's prepare them for execution so I'm using the hospital table SQL file so you can just remember this name and because I will be giving all the links to all the files that I have been using in this area so this is the patient table, we are dropping and then creating the table, then we have the patient diagnosis, which has foreign key relationship on the patient, then we have doctor table, which has the foreign key relationship on the patient table again, and then we have the bill table. And these are the sample records for first three tables, so this is the patient table entry, these are the patient diagnosis entries and we have the doctor of data entries. Let's execute with them at once. Thank you, let's start first. Let's execute with them now. Alright, so now we have created the tables and inserted the entries in th first three tables, that is the patient table patient diagnosis tables and the patient and the doctor table but we are yet to insert entries for the bill table and we won't be doing that as of now because first we need to create triggers which will be be working on the automation for the insertion of values on these four and bill number so basically i just want to create the sequence and triggers which will be responsible to insert the values of the five records these five records, these four and the bill number. So let's move to the trigger SQL file. So this is the sequence that will be generating the bill number starting from one and having a maximum value of this much. All right. And then we have the trigger on the bill table which will automatically insert the values for patient name, patient gender, patient address, and the doctor name. So you can yeah, go through the SQL ones. We are simply just using the value for the bill, uh, for the, uh, the patient ID that we are entering. So based on this value that we are inserting, I will be getting the value from the patient table and getting the values for patient name, patient gender, patient address, and the patient number. So let's execute the privilege as well and go start we will try and execute the insertion statement for the build table. Let's figure this out and everything. First let's create the sequence and the trigger. So our sequence is created and our trigger was compiled. Let's figure this out. And let me show you the current entries in the build table. It's right. so, okay, I need to clear that out at some point. Alright, so I think it was the last run. So yeah, we have an empty build table as of now. So I'm just inserting the value for patient ID and the amount and based on that, we will be getting the value for the remaining records. Let's see if for one value first. Alright, so one value from it. Let's start from the And as you can see, I inserted the value for the patient ID and the amount. And all these values were automatically fetched using the triggers that we created. The one trigger that we created. And then we have, it's, it surely makes life easy when we have automation in place for any kind of stuff that we are doing. Yeah, if you guys have any feedback for this project, feel free to share that in the comments. Uh, if you like this work, please feel free to like the video as well and subscribe as well. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will be sharing all the files that we use on this project. And we'll be share the next video link that's on library management system, which is far better than this project. 
I would say, because it does involve many inconceptions. So yeah, stay tuned for that video.